Hello, everybody, and welcome to my plan with me for April 2019. So here we are on my undated two-page beige planner. And as you can see, this is the cover, and then you will see it is a two-page planner, like if you would be using a regular physical planner. So today we're gonna plan for April. And over my Instagram, I promise you to show you a video on how I use my new stickers for Hello Spring. So we're going to tackle those two things on this very video. The first one, my stickers, how I use them, how I decorate my planner. And the second one, the plan with me for this month, April. So this planner is undated and the first thing I do is to decorate the cover. I'm gonna click this pencil button so I get all the buttons and features of good notes and then I'm gonna decorate it with my stickers. I've already downloaded my stickers to my camera roll so I have them right here easy to wrap. Okay, so I'm gonna start adding these four stickers. I love, well, I know I've already said this, but I love to have these stickers on these sticker sheets or sticker pages because I can see all of them at once. So I want to select some of them, so I'm gonna press down on the stickers and I'm gonna hit crop and then of course I'm gonna add the hello spring. And then I'm hitting done. And I resize and I locate it. And of course, I want to add another one from this very same sheet of stickers. So I'm going to hit crop, crop again. And this time I'm going to use the free hand tool to select the sticker that I want to crop. Hit crop, resize, and locate. I want it to be right here. Fantastic! Now, from this page, I want to select this um, kind of washi tape. So, I select the washi tape that I want to crop and I hit done. Then, I'm going to resize it to have it below this box. Oh, I love it! Yes! And then, um, from that same page i want to crop this floral square and i want to have it below from last month i'm gonna resize it you can resize um on the edges on the top on the right or you can resize right here on the bottom corner okay now on my cover i want to add some little hearts and a little floral sticker so again i'm gonna hit crop and this time i'm gonna hit freehand and i'm gonna select the stickers that i want to use crop and i want to have them right here Okay, so this is how I add my stickers. Now let's see what's on the April overview. So my main focus on this month will be my shop for easy printable planners. You know my shop. That's my very, very main focus. But I also want to dedicate a little bit of time to a new project that I'm working on, which is some leather and illustrated bags. So I'm gonna make a little bit note of here that this is a secondary focus, not my main one, but a secondary one. All right, uh, important notes and dates. My mom's birthday is on the 8th and I have an event coming up on the 16th. So that's um, super important and I want to launch the new video course on GoodNote 5. For all of you who have purchased my planners, I want to give you this video course on GoodNote 5, of course, for free. Um, and that would be it for this section. Then I would like to add some stickers for this. 
So I'm going to click again on the image button and I'm going to select this page. I want to add a sticker. Okay, hit crop. I want to add a sticker for my mom's birthday. So let's see. Yeah, I want this little heart. I'm going to put it right here. Maybe, maybe, maybe I can move all of this a little bit and this all right i'm gonna add the rest of the stickers for this section i'm gonna click the same the same sticker page and i'm gonna select one of these for my event i think this one fits quite well you can uh, drag the page kind of squeeze your your fingers on the tablet so you can drag in and see in a bigger way what you're doing on your page okay and now for the launch the video course i'm gonna add another one of these stickers and i'm gonna select i want um this one a resize and it's done all right now my next section is my goals as i've said this month my shop is a printable planners.com is going to be my main focus and within that main focus i have the goal of launching my video course on goodnotes 5 for all my customers so i'm going to click on this button so i can have a better view on goals and I'm going to write down all my goals for this month. Number one, my video course. And you can add um, some sub goals or mini goals according to the main goal. For example, here, record videos, add audio, edit videos, compile and upload. Another goal is to revamp my Pinterest account. So revamp Pinterest. And a sub goal for this one would be um, create new content and schedule pins for the next month. Okay. And another one would be create IGTV content. All right. So this section is done for me. And I would like to highlight my main goals. So this is one of my main goals. This one, it's another one. And this one, it's another one. That way I know which goal is the big goal and which ones are the mini goals. And now I'm going to continue with my next section, which is from last month. If you have anything left from the last month, you can write it down right here. In this case, I think I'm going pretty well. The month is not over yet for me, <laughs> but I think it's going pretty well. So uh, here I would only add Instagram content, keep up with IG feed and stories because I'm loving Instagram. And finally, this is one of my favorite parts, which is habits to nurture over this month. The first one would be healthy eating. I've been eating healthy for the last three or four months and it's been amazing. It has changed my life, my energy, and even my, my weight and the way I look. So I really want to keep doing this. Next is exercising. Next is EFT, tapping. I've been talking about this on my IG feed, which is something I love. Then I want to add meditation and journaling. I love journaling at the end of the day and I want to keep on doing this. And that would be for now. If you have more or less habits, you can fill up the whole six habits spaces for here. If you have less habits than that, it's totally okay. If you have more than six habits to nurture over the month, you can use the monthly habit tracker, also including this planner. All right, and then as you as the month goes on and as you complete the habits day by day, you can use the highlighters or the pen, whatever you like, to fill up these spaces. Well, this might be a little bit too much, so let's use this one. You can do this and then change the colors, you know, love colorful stuff, so it's up to you. All right, so this is my cover page and my monthly overview for April. Now, 
let's move on to the month. So I've mentioned that this planner is undated, so we'll have to add the days for the whole month. So let's get started, you know, on the images and let's pick our numbers. Okay, press down on the same page and hit crop this time. And I'm gonna select the number that I want to crop. All right, select the size. This is the size that I want. And then if you want to move it a little bit or anywhere, you click the lasso tool and then you move it. And I'm gonna do exactly the same for the rest of the numbers. Here you can select from the beginning the number that you need, place it a little bit near to the other one so you can see if you are doing or having the same size. And here I have a little bit of another sticker, so I'm gonna click edit and I'm gonna click crop and then I'm gonna crop it so I only have the number two. All right, then we keep doing this and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I just discovered a way to have the numbers have the same size. So let's do exactly the same as we were doing. Let's select the, the stickers that we want to use, then click edit, and then click crop. Select the next number. Okay, this is the eight. All right, and now instead of resizing it, we're gonna continue with the next number. So select the page, select crop, and now select the next number, which is nine. And we continue with the next page, crop number 10, and done. And the next page two, click on crop, and select the next number, next number, and the next number all right and the next number it's right here all right now i'm gonna select all of them they are here and i'm gonna click on resize now i'm gonna resize all the numbers at once i make sure they have the size that i want and now i'm gonna click with my finger and i'm gonna hit edit and now let's um make this a little bit larger, edit, and now I can move the sticker on the top. All right, so let's take the lasso tool and let's move all the stickers to the left. And now let's accommodate this one where it should be. All right, now on the sticker set right here, let's click on them, let's select edit, and now I have the 13, so I move it where it should be and I'll let it be right there and I do exactly the same with the rest of the stickers with my finger I press on the stickers I click edit and then I move it where it should be here they are the stickers are supposed to be the same size all of them and it's supposed to save you a little bit of time All right, now that I have my dates and my cute washi tape, I'm gonna add the important notes and dates from my overview. I'm gonna add them right here. So I'm gonna start with my mom's birthday. Since this is a Monday, her celebration, it's gonna be here. Then I have a meeting on the 16th, have an event. Then I have another meeting. This is tentative, but so I'm gonna have another color for this. And it's another meeting here with this. And I want to have finished my video course on Good Notes 5 by this date. So here it's finish video course on Good Note 5. All right, now that I have my important date, I want to pretty up a little bit more my planner. So I'm gonna see what stickers can look good or can fit. All right, so I'm gonna click on crop and I always, always love this one. And I know 
you might love it too. So let's hit crop and let's have it on our paydays. Paydays, on our paydays. All right, it's right here. And since I want to copy and paste it, this same sticker, I'm gonna select it. I'm gonna press down and I'm gonna click on copy. And then I'm gonna press on the page and click copy to. So here's another sticker and I'm gonna have this one here on the same 28th. So I'm gonna have it a little bit overlapped. All right, I like it. Great. Now I want to see the other stickers and I have bills and expenses. I like this because, well, I don't feel like all persons love to pay bills and expenses, but it is a good thing to have a reminder because so bills and expenses, I have to take care of this by the 15th. All right, and then let's keep watching, let's keep seeing the stickers so we can check out what can fit into our planner. I need to remember to really know if this meeting is gonna happen, so I'm gonna RSVP the meeting from this day. This day. All right, what else do we have? Let's take clean, and it's gonna be this Saturday. Then we have other kinds of stickers right here. And I would like to add my mom's birthday. So this one. Done. Mom's birthday. Good. Love it. And mom's patty <laughs> too. I like to have the sticker a little bit on the middle. And then drag to have it centered. Okay. I want to add a little bit of flowers and cute stuff on my spread so i'm gonna click on freehand and i'm gonna select the stickers right here click done i resize and i place them here i like it here oh great and i kept doing the same adding stickers adding events stuff to do notes everything i need to add so I have all these reminders throughout of the month and I get everything that I need to get done. I love to add these check boxes kind of stickers because you can check them off whenever you have done um, any task that you have set. For example, I love to have them right here on the notes section of my of my week or of my weeks. For example, here I it is on the week one of my month and I'm gonna write down all the key things that I need to have done. Um, for example, the first one would be my mom's patty or my mom's dinner and would be present. Mom's present, um, dinner or no, let's say call brother so we can arrange everything for my mom then i need to do some spring cleaning by the six and then i will have to start editing okay i start editing and my next one would be rg content of course all right and as soon as i finish any of these important tasks i will check them off all right and maybe we can put the tasks on the days that i need to have them done so for example i need to call my brother my sister is overseas so i need to call my brother and arrange my mom's patty or my mom's dinner so i will call him by wednesday then my spring cleaning it's already here start editing of course it's from monday by my mom's present, I could do it on Friday in case I didn't have it already. And of course, the editing, it starts on Monday. And finally, my IG content could be on Thursday. And I do exactly the same for the rest of the weeks. I determine the main task, the main things that I need to get done. And then I place them over the week. And finally, I check the month when I get them done. 
So this is how I plan my months. This is how I planned April. It's still March 11th, but it's never too late to have a beautiful plan so we can live that beautiful life, right? So I will keep on adding my main task and all the events and tasks and things that I need to get done. I don't want to make this video any longer. So I will keep planning. I will keep adding stuff. And now it's your turn to plan your month and to start using those beautiful stickers so i would love to see what you're doing how you're using your planners how you're using your stickers so feel free to share a photo to share a story and tag me well my ig is i am karen Avila. so see you on the next video and bye